Hey guys, it is Jess with Watch Kitty Shrink, and I'm here with my week nine post op VSG um, video update thingy. I just lost my train of thought, but um, I unexpectedly have a lot to talk about in this video, probably because last week's video was so short and because I did not anticipate, but I have hit another milestone. So let's just jump right into stats. Um, I'm 29 years old. I'm five foot tall. On August 23rd, 2016, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy with Dr. Amy Johnson at Pikeville Medical Center in Pikeville, Kentucky. My highest weight was ever was in April of 2016, and it was 285.0. My surgery weight was 254, ugh, can't talk. My surgery weight was 255.4. Last week I was 221.4. And this week I am 218.0. So that's a weekly loss of 3.4 pounds. That is since surgery of 37.4 and an overall loss of 67 pounds. Now, before I even go into my week or anything like that, how excited I am about, you know, the weekly loss and stuff, I want to talk about my weight right now. I am 218.0. I think it was either my second or third video. I made a video called, like, Promises or Milestones or something like that, where I shared a little bit of my weight story. Now, I've gotten many more subscribers since then, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of background. I actually started gaining weight when I was 19. So, anything before 19, I don't consider my adult weight because I hadn't actually started gaining weight then. So, um, I started gaining weight at 19. I gained a whole lot of weight. And then, when I was about 24, I went on Weight Watchers and my best friend and I joined a gym and I lost a lot of weight, which I promptly regained, but I got down to 219. Um, and then within six months, you know, I gained all my weight back. But I've always said that because of that, 219 was my lowest adult weight. And now I am just a little over two months out from my surgery and I'm already smaller than my lowest adult weight. Um, I just have to take a whole little bit to talk about that because I was floored this morning. Like, I was really excited about the loss and then it hit me. This is the smallest you have been in your adult life. And it's just so crazy to me. Um, you know, I seen my family this weekend and the question people always ask is, was it worth it to have this surgery? Absolutely. Let me tell you about... <clears throat> Try not to get emotional. Let me tell you about who I was when I had lost weight before. And then all the times ever since then, four or five years, I've tried to lose weight again and couldn't. What would happen is I would lose some weight. And then I would talk to myself and say these mean things to myself. And I would say, even though you're trying so hard to lose weight, why are you doing this? Because you're not going to like yourself anyway. And you are not worth all this effort that you're putting in to do it and I was just so wrong I am so happy right now and yes it is because the number on the scale is going down but it's not just the fact that it's weight that I'm losing it's that I promised myself I would do something and I'm actually accomplishing that goal so I am was it worth it is like the craziest question in the world to me. Yes, this is the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. And I am so grateful. And I'm just like, I, like I said, just a little bit over two months out. And I'm smaller than I've ever been as an adult. And I have so many more things to still look forward to. This is just the beginning of my journey. And I'm just... I really, I got to work today and I was crying because I was like, I am just so grateful. I have so many things that are still coming my way and yet I'm already accomplishing so many wonderful things. So I was just really, really floored. I, that's just a crazy, crazy thing to me. 
So I've made myself some notes because I felt like I shortchanged you all with that short video last week. So I wanted to um, make sure I mentioned a lot of stuff. First of all, about that weekly loss, 3.4, was not expecting that. Um, first of all, this is Shark Week. I don't want to go into too much TMI. Sorry, boys. But um, since surgery, my periods have been terrible. Um, it's because of the rapid weight loss. 90% of females who experience rapid weight loss, it will mess with your period in some way. Mine has made my periods awful. So the fact that I lost so much weight is just crazy, crazy, crazy awesome to me. So first of all, last week when I made the short video, I was actually sick. And that um, definitely made for um, like that low loss that I had. It was just like a pound point something. Um, because I slept, I didn't exercise, um, I was just really sick. I didn't eat nothing. Like, probably 200 calories a day, maybe, because my throat hurt, which made my stomach hurt. It was just crazy. But I'm feeling much better, as you guys can see. My, my um, weight loss increased, everything. Um, hang on. I don't know why I start those videos sitting up like that when I know I can't sit like that for the whole video. Okay, so I wanted to talk for a second about traveling while you are still somewhat of a new post-op. So this was the first trip I had taken, and it was just a weekend trip, but um, it really threw me off my game. Like, I guess I was just, I was really excited to see my family. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys when I do that, though. My knees are just going to have to suffer. Um... It just threw me off my game. I was excited to see my family, and sometimes you just, being a weight loss surgery patient does make you a little different. You can't just sit around all day and not eat and drink anything, um, and then expect to get your 64 ounces in an hour before bedtime. And I didn't want to be different, like, oh, I have to keep a water bottle in my hand at all times, or, oh, I have to go get a protein shake, or, oh, I gotta go take my vitamins. So it threw me off my game. Um, Saturday and Sunday, I did not hit, no, Friday. It was just Saturday. Friday on the way down, I did pretty good. And Sunday coming home, I did okay. But Saturday was awful. I probably only got like 20 ounces of water, maybe 40 grams of protein. It was bad. But now, Monday when I got back, it was on. I probably got like 80 ounces of water every day this week, which is huge for me because, you know, I still can't get a whole lot in. Um, so it was just, you know, anticipate that you are different. It's okay. You're going to have to be that person. You made the decision to have this surgery. You're going to have to just buck up and admit that, yes, I know everybody's having fun. I have to leave for a minute. I have to go buy a protein shake or okay, let's laugh and talk and take pictures, but I've got to keep my water bottle by my side. It's just, you know, it, it's something that you have to get adjusted to, and I didn't do so great with it this weekend. Um, okay, so another thing I wanted to talk about, um, first of all, I want to say the only term I have for it is called pregnancy brain, and if that's offensive, I'm sorry. I really have no idea what else you would call it. But basically what it is, is, you know, like when a woman gets pregnant, her hormones change dramatically. And that can result in what we've always called pregnancy brain, which is like when you're kind of forgetful or um, like have trouble concentrating and all of that because of the hormones. Obviously, I'm not pregnant. I just very recently had weight loss surgery and I am single AF, but... <laughs> I think I get like a hormone slash pregnancy brain, especially during shark week. Like this past week, I could not concentrate on anything. Like everything about my job is autopilot or I wouldn't have even been able to do that. Like anytime somebody asked me a simple question, like it could have been like, do you want to go to the movies? And my brain was just like, that is too much to process right now. Do any of you do that? Like, my concentration levels when I'm on shark week, it, since surgery, it's not been this way my whole life. It's because my hormones are so jacked up. 
I just can't focus on anything. And I can totally tell the difference because like yesterday was my last day of Shark Week. Today, I wake up and my mind is like, I feel motivated. My mind is like concentrating on everything. I was crushing it at work. It's just so weird to me. But like this whole week, it was almost like I was in a fog. Like I could not do anything. Um, let's see. So, um, a little bit this week, I had, um, like protein shake burnout. And I mean, that's to be expected. I've been drinking protein shakes for like six months now. Um, and I just got to a point where I was like, no, I'm going to hit it with food only because I'm tired of them. And maybe some people can. I could not. Um, so the only thing I wanted to mention in that is that you got to buck up. I had to. I went two days without it barely hit 40 grams of protein went back to my shakes saw movement on the scale everything's fine i definitely at this point um i'm two months and one week out have to do at least one protein shake a day um i really thought i had a whole lot more to talk about but um i guess not um i wanted to say a special shout out really quick to jody she had surgery this week everybody knows jody um, she had surgery this week, and I hope that she is doing really, really good. And um, I'm getting ready to go watch her video, but um, she's a strong woman, so I know she's doing just fine. So that's really about all that I had to say. We might be doing some family pictures tomorrow, and if they look good, I'll put them on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. It's just Watch Kitty Shrink. And. I guess that's all for now. I do have some other videos planned to do for you guys because I would like to do more than one video a week, but I just want to do one stats video. Um, a day in the life video would be really hard for me to do on a weekday because I'm not allowed to leave my phone out at work, but um, I might try to do something like that on the weekend, but I do have some other ideas too, so I might see you guys sooner than you think, but I'll definitely see you by next Friday. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Bye.